Assistive technologies can help fulfill the objective of developing an inclusive environment for persons with disabilities in society, in education, employment and citizenship. It's important to realise that though technology can assist people, it doesn't mean it will allow them to fully integrate without any further efforts. For instance, if the technology is bulky, requires many wires and parts, or it's difficult to use or carry, this may result in the user having to focus too much attention on the device, depriving them of an inclusive experience with the rest of society. Assistive technologies are often perceived as a private health-related issue for users with disabilities only. However, they're really about giving equal rights to everyone, and with this perspective, they should be considered as a public issue concerning the whole of society. In fact, it's not simply that society as a whole should be involved with the inclusion of persons with disabilities, but rather that we all have a lot to learn and gain from such involvement. Persons with disabilities face discrimination and barriers every day that restrict them from participating in society on an equal basis with others. They are denied the rights to be included in mainstream education, to be employed, to live independently in the community, to move freely, to vote, participate in sport and cultural activities, enjoy social protection, to access justice, choose medical treatment and to enter freely into legal commitments. A disproportionate number of persons with disabilities live in developing countries, often marginalized and in extreme poverty. However, persons with disabilities have remained largely invisible, often sidelined in discussions on their own rights and therefore unable to enjoy the full range of human rights. We must really face the reality of European demographic trends. It's expected that the working age population in the EU will decrease by 48 million, a 16% reduction between 2010 and 2050. The elderly population will increase by 58 million, a gain of 77%. This represents a considerable economic burden and also a radical change in our social customs and values. The World Health Organization estimates that about 15% of the population, over a billion people, have some form of disability. In Europe alone, there are over 80 million people with a kind of disability. 75% of people with severe disabilities do not have the opportunity to fully participate in the European labor market. Rates of disability are increasing due to an aging population and increases in chronic health conditions, among other causes. The economic consequences of this could be tremendously negative without proper preparation and reasonable planning. The effects of these economic and demographic trends must be combined with the effects that technological trends may also have on employment. For instance, it is possible that in the near future, highly functional, intelligent and complex robots could replace up to 50% of all jobs in the European service sector. Robots could render the division between able-bodied and disabled persons irrelevant, as we would all be in a similar state of relative inferiority and helplessness. Perhaps this will happen one day and we will all find ourselves facing the same challenges that persons with disabilities face today. This is why we really should begin to think about the inclusion of persons with disabilities now, so that we are not surprised by technological and societal trends. One way you can actively help in the inclusion of persons with disabilities is by learning the international sign language.